What's up, everybody? <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Let's try that again. What's up, everybody? Hollywood Will back with another live stream. Uh, we are post Cyber Monday, post Black Friday, but everything is, well, not everything, but a lot of things are still on deal all the way up through the holidays. So that is great news, right, guys? Because it's um, almost December. I know a lot of you guys uh, and gals have already finished Christmas shopping. For those of you that are late, like me, and you're just starting now, you're just in time because I got a lot of stuff to show you. Uh, this is dedicated to the kitchen. The things that I show you today uh, in the kitchen are great for gifts, great for holidays, great for birthdays, and they're just clutch to have because you guys know how much I love food. You know, I didn't get this, uh, this hourglass shape, this, you know, uh, felt shape by just, you know, not eating, right? So what I got to show you guys today is uh, pretty awesome. Before we get started, uh, thank you for, uh, you know, you guys watching me over the course of the last year and a half. We still have time for the $200 or $250 Amazon gift card giveaway. That ends in just a few days and a winner will be announced. So... If you haven't already signed up for uh, the giveaway, all you have to do is go to my Facebook Amazon group called Mega Deal Catcher, Deal Catcher, one word. Uh, just go over there, it's pinned to the very top. So you can just click on it, add your name and email address. No, I do not spam you. And that is the way to enter to win. Make sure if you don't wanna do all the entries that it asks, like follow me across the board on social media, et cetera, uh, you have to at least, at minimum, be following me on Amazon. If you're not following me on Amazon, it's cool, I'm not offended, but you're not going to be in the pool of names that will be drawn uh, to see who the winner is. Cool deal? Hey, Jennifer, how are you? Great to see you again. Uh, Jennifer and uh, others that are starting to come in on Facebook and Amazon. Uh, regulars, I love it when the regulars, as I like to call the usual suspects, comes through and, you know, we like to chat it up, um, you know, on a, put it this way. So in my Amazon analytics, for one hour, depending on how many people that are watching, I usually get, you know, 50 to 60 messages. It's great when the regulars come through or the usual suspects and we chat it up. It's like a couple hundred, you know, sometimes 300 messages going back and forth with the chat. So it's pretty awesome. Hey, Melissa Hemming, how are you? Haven't seen you in a while. Pop in. You're usually watching on Facebook. So uh, glad you can join us on Amazon. So I appreciate that. Uh, Facebook, I see Amy, Danielle, a few others here. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for watching on TikTok as well as YouTube and Twitter. So did I forget anybody? I said Facebook, right? With that said, let's go to the first product because I don't want to keep you guys all night and I am super excited to show you guys some stuff here. So uh, the first product is, what's up, Fred Jansen? How are you? Uh, the first product is the Hamilton Beach Electric Sear Grill. Yes, it's on deal. We'll talk numbers here uh, in a minute. I have the video queued all up for you. And the reason why, in case you guys are new, why I have uh, videos queued up to show you, because these are pretty sizable products. I have, you know, a regular size table here, like a bench that I'm sitting at. I can't fit 12 air fryers and all this other stuff on here. So you guys get the video, but it's just as good. And if you have any questions, I can still answer them live for you. Uh, searing grill. It's depending on where you live. It's cold outside. I'm not grilling outside as much as I like to grill. I'm not smoking meats outside as much as I like to smoke meats. It because it's cold. I don't do well with the cold weather. Uh, despite my you know like uh, rather big size you know frame, I just don't like the cold. I was at an Eagles tailgate this past weekend and I was miserable. As much as I love my Eagles, I was miserable because it was freezing and raining, but I had to do it for the team. But anyway, how about you bring the outdoor grilling inside, smoke-free, uh, you know, grease-free, you don't have to worry about any type of hazards, it's pretty awesome, and it's still big enough to feed a family. So, with that being said, this is the Hamilton Beach Electric Sear Grill. Let me know what you guys think. What's up guys, Hollywood Will back with another review. We are going to put this together. This is the Hamilton Beach indoor searing grill. Very easy to put together and then we will go ahead and show all the features. So first things first, 
You see these right here? It's going to line up with these right here, just like that. That is your searing grill. Then you're going to put the top on. The top locks into place, just like that. Now you have your grease tray. This is going to catch all the grease, all the crumbs, all the, just like that. We're all ready to go, plug this in. So let's go ahead and take a closer look. A few of the things that I really like is, check this out. This is a see-through glass right here. So when you are flipping your burgers, when you're cooking your vegetables, whatever you're making, you can see what's going on in there. Lift this up. This is your cast iron. I recommend that you clean this for the first time before you use it and then season it just like you would a cast iron uh, pan or anything like that. So just, you know, season it with your favorite seasonings. You have plenty of space here to cook burgers, dogs, vegetables, you know, sausages, mushrooms, whatever you and your family like. You have down here your temperature goes from minimum. You see the degrees there all the way to sear. When you sear, obviously you're putting the color on your meats or vegetables. The tray to catch everything. Indicator lights for when the power is on and when it's preheated, when it's ready. Whatever degrees you want to set it to. Nice sturdy handle, nice design. Stainless steel right here, hot to surface. It will get hot when it's in use, keep that in mind. This will feed a family, it's convenient. Imagine if the weather doesn't permit for you to be outside, you can still have fun with the family grilling and making different foods indoors. This is something that I use, this is something that I like, and I think you will too. You heard it from Hollywood. What's up? All right, so that was the Hamilton Beach Indoor Searing Grill. First of all, Hamilton Beach, a great uh, company. I use them for a lot. I have Hamilton Beach blenders, you know, like the hand mixers. I have Hamilton Beach uh, grills. I have, obviously, the Hamilton Beach uh, Searing Grill, so they're pretty awesome. I use them for, uh, you know, a lot of stuff. But um, let's see here. Show of hands, who wants to be outside grilling in the cold? Exactly. Exactly. Now, who wants to grill indoor and still have that grilling fun, that grilling smell, the grill marks all inside in the comfort of your warm home? That's what I thought. That's what I thought. So check this out. It is on deal. Normally it's $99.99. You get uh, some percentage off here, drops the price down to $89.99. Four and a half out of five stars, check this out. 18,346 people reviewed it, four and a half out of five stars. So clearly I'm not the only one that likes it. Uh, you know, the one thing I will say, if you notice in the far right, like you saw the grill, you saw uh, the holes in the grill, so the grease would drop down into the grease trap. On the far right, there was no holes. I cooked hamburgers on this thing. I did not use the far right because then you kind of got, there's going to be a little bit of grease that builds up and you are going to continue to have to like scrape it to, so it can drop down. What I used on the far right, um, cause it's still very hot. I used it to do my vegetables. I used it to uh, get some marks on the hot dogs because hot dogs don't have a lot of grease. Burgers do. So anyway, in my household, we like burgers. We like, um, sausages and we like hot dogs so the hot dogs did not give off a lot of grease so you're fine to use that on the far right so i just wanted to mention that so that was a like all right rising sun how are you good to see you thank you for tuning in i appreciate you guys so uh just to recap 89.99 after the discount and it is 18,346 reviews four and a half out of five stars so very awesome product and we are going to hop right on to the next one. Guess what? The next one is one of my favorites. You guys know I love air fryers. I have so many air fryers. I literally have a storage unit because I can't keep all this stuff. But I don't want to just give it away. I mean, I do give away a lot. But some stuff I feel like I know I'm going to use. Some stuff works better than others. You know what I mean? So this is the wall 12-in-1 air fryer. 
The reason why I like this is because I can rotisserie chicken. Like I can rotisserie my chickens. And that's like the main, main thing. Uh, I love chicken, I love wings. So you guys know, you've seen plenty of videos. If you follow me on social media, you see me make you know chicken and wings and hot wings all the time. So it's like my favorite food. But uh, anyway, uh, this is the 12 in one. This is made by Wall. This is the air fryer combo. Let me know what you guys think. What's up everybody, Hollywood Will back with another review. Today we are going to unbox and review this air fryer oven by Nice Wall. So let's go ahead and get this out of the box and let's talk about it. All right, so now that we have everything out of the box, uh, let's go over this because this uh, little air fryer is absolutely amazing. I love how the uh, LCD is blacked out. You can turn on the light as I just did there so you can see what's cooking. Uh, let's go ahead and turn this on. Now, this is absolutely amazing. This has so many presets, so if you don't know how long to cook something for, chances are the preset is up here. So let's say if you wanted french fries, it tells you what to do. Uh, if you wanted meats, like steaks and chops, it tells you what to do. Fish, shrimp, pizza, so many things. And the popular one, uh, the wings, which is what I eat a lot, this tells you, you got desserts here, you have your rotisserie, um, you know, it's so much here, but let's also talk about the recipe book. So if you wanna start creating, you know, your own, uh, you can follow some of the recipes in here, or you can create your own. Uh, it's, it's really awesome. So let's start piecing this together. You have your catch tray, right? So you can use that where it'll catch the crumbs or the grease. You have an air fryer basket. So you can uh, cook your wings like I do. I eat wings probably, three times a week. You have your uh, grill tray, if you wanna use that instead. And these fit right in, you know, it's uh, a great size, it'll feed, you know, your family. You have your uh, rotisserie grabber. So check this out. So if you wanna, you know, grab your rotisserie chicken out of here, you can. You have your skewers for uh, rotisserie. So this is super awesome. And like I said, it has so many features. You'll never get bored making food again. I would highly recommend this. I love it and I think you will too. You heard it from Hollywood. What's up everybody? Hollywood Will back with another review. Today we are going. All right, so nice uh, short video there. That was the wall air fryer. Uh, over here in the Amazon comments from Rising Sun, uh, they have yet to have anything from an air fryer you're missing out and i don't mean the whole fomo fear of missing out thing i mean just from a food aspect alone so definitely if your friend nearby a uh, good friend that you trust to eat over their house because you know you can't eat over everyone's house right so with that being said uh if you have a trusted friend that you're okay with eating over at their house have them make you something from the air fryer you won't regret it so it is awesome. And even if you don't like the wings or anything like that, vegetables taste good in that. I even make toast in there. I mean, toast is toast, whatever, but you know, like vegetable, there's so many good recipes, you know, for vegetables and for meats. So, you know, definitely check that out. Uh, you know, have your friend make you something first before you just go buy an air fryer. <laughs> so, all right, uh, let's talk. I didn't even have the right product clicked over here in Amazon. So let's do this. All right, so the wall air fryer. Uh, this is the newer model. It's only 36 reviews so far. Four and a half out of five stars. Now their 10 in one has thousands of reviews. That's available too, just so you know. They're not just some fly-by-night company that just threw an air fryer together. So uh, normally it's $399.99, 60% off, right? That's a great deal. You know me, I say even if it's 5%, some percent is better than no percent, but this is 60% off, more than half. Drops the price down to $159.99. So you're getting an awesome deal there. And like I said, you can make your rotisserie chickens. You can make wings in the air fryer. What I do for my wings, and it all depends on the air fryer as well, but I normally do um, 380 degrees, for 22 to 25 minutes 
but I also flip midway through. So that way you're getting the crisp on both sides. And then I toss it in my homemade hot sauce, which will remain secret because, but I will say one thing. Uh, I do use Carolina Reaper peppers and I do use uh, Jamaican jerk seasoning combined. That's all I'm gonna tell you. And I got some stuff to sweeten it up if you don't like the heat, because Carolina Reaper is no joke. It will burn a hole in your throat or stomach if you're not careful. So, but anyway, uh, just to recap, 60% off drops the price down to $159.99. So, all good there, right? All right, before we go to the next product, for those of you that are watching on Facebook or anywhere, and it's the first time that you're watching, first of all, welcome. Secondly, if you wonder why I run my mouth through between each product, it's so you guys have a chance to click on the product and check it out. Not necessarily buy it. I always encourage people to check out some of the other reviews because four and a half out of five stars, for example, means there are a couple of bad reviews. See why, you know what I mean? It could be shipping related. It could be damage related, you know, something like that, or accidents happen, somebody may have forgot to put something in there, you know, or it just didn't work out for someone, you know what I mean? So always, you know, if you don't want to just take my word for it, check out some of the other reviews too. I do the same thing for myself before I even buy something. So, you know, you guys should too. I would never tell you guys to do something that I'm not willing to do myself. So, all right. Uh, anyway, that is why I banter between products. All right. Next product is the seven quart uh, crock pot. Now I just used this at my sister's house and I also gifted her the crock pot afterwards. After I filmed it, it was the least that I could do, right? She bought all the food for Thanksgiving. I brought sodas, a pie, and I don't, you know, drink soda really like that. I don't eat desserts like that. And so, uh, but she made everything. Like we had turkeys, meats, pot roast, collard greens, uh, mac and cheese, biscuits, plenty of gravy, stuffing, mashed potatoes, potatoes and carrots that were also in the crock pot with the pot roast. Uh, it, was, it was just so much food. But anyway, that crock pot was clutch. It had so many features, and I'm about to show you guys, but it is clutch. For all the features that it had, you would think that this crock pot was like $1.99 or something like that, but it's definitely on deal, and even without the deal price, it's not $1.99 or anything crazy like that. So, But anyway, uh, let me cue this up for you guys. Nice little video here, just an unboxing. I do have another video that I'll show next time uh, if the crock pot, if and when the crock pot goes back on sale. I'll show you the video of me making the pot roast. What's up everyone, Hollywood Will back with another review and today we are going to review, uh, we're gonna quickly review this seven quart uh, crock pot with cook time technology. So uh, let's go ahead and take a closer look at this. As you can see, I already have this plugged in. So one of the great things about this uh, is the cook time technology. You can literally schedule your meal by a push of a button. So let's say you have, you know, your meat and potatoes in here and you have to go to work. So, you know, what do you do if you or if you need more cooking time and you're still sleeping and you want to get started? What do you do? Easy. You schedule a cook time. So you would uh, push the button and then it's digital here. You got your LCD screen. So you would schedule your cook time and then you can set it and forget it and be done with it. Um, you can cook. Uh, right underneath the scheduled meal is the food uh, button. So it asks what you are cooking as far as meats, uh, poultry, vegetables and such. So you would have choices there. And then the tab underneath that is the amount where you can either choose halfway full or full. Okay. And then now the other is over here. This is manual. So if you don't want to, if you don't want to use a schedule timer, then you can manually uh, choose and then set your timer that way okay and then there is the temperature and then there is the cancel timer so your temperature obviously is one of the important uh, features because you want to uh, you know whether you want to cook it slow medium or high it does matter depending on what you're cooking now let's talk about the locking lid super simple and it keeps all the flavor and juices in so very simple just like that and you have your sealer right here and then it uh, goes around the ceramic here and then you can hear it like squeeze shut and then you would just lock it so 
just like any other crock pot you have your ceramic dish here okay and so this is easy to clean once you're done with it this is super light and the locking feature allows you to uh, not worry about tipping your food over when you're carrying it or having anything spill because of the seal and lock feature. So this is something that I highly recommend. I use mine all the time, especially when it's cold outside. I you know make a lot of soups. I do a lot of uh, roast chucks, anything that you know that is hard to tenderize, but I can throw it in a crock pot and let it tenderize throughout the day. So um, this is something, like I said, I recommend. I think you'll like it as much as I do. You heard it from Hollywood. What's up? All right, so that was the seven quart uh, crock pot. Seven quart is a lot bigger than I thought because the amount of pot roast and all the potatoes and the carrots and the au jus, um, you know, all of that in there, there was still room, just a little bit of room up top you know, for us to fit something else in there and then close the lid if we wanted to. But uh, seven quarts will feed a whole family. You know, unless you have a family of like 15, then I think you're good to go. But uh, this one here, let's talk deal. Let's see, $89.99 is a normal price, 11% off. So you're getting a nice little discount there, keeping some money in your pocket. Drops the price down to $79.99, 952 reviews. So it's becoming more and more popular. When I first got this and, you know, tested it out and reviewed it and all that good stuff, it didn't even have 400 reviews. So it's becoming more and more popular. You know, I'm not seeing anything in my return cart. So I think it's safe to say that it's a, a pretty solid product here. 952 reviews, four and a half out of five stars. So once again, $79.99 is the price after the 11% discount. Nick M, welcome. Thank you for tuning in. And pot roast chucks. Yes. It is so underrated because people think, like, and it's kind of true, like, you really have to know how to make it. Otherwise, it's just a tough piece of meat. So when in doubt, take a tough piece of meat and throw it in the crock pot. Create your own au jus or, you know, your own juices plus, you know, with the meat. Like, just use a little bit of broth because a, a meat like that, is gonna create its own juices anyway. And that juice, make sure you put the potatoes and all that stuff on the bottom. Let that juice just seep right in there for six to eight hours. I think we did the pot roast for about six and a half hours on low. And it came out tender, it came out juicy. Just be careful, don't overcook it because just because it's in juice doesn't mean that that piece of meat won't dry out 15 minutes after it's rested. So keep that in mind. So, all right, we're going to keep this bad boy moving. The next product is the Swiss Mar Classic 8-Person Ratslet Grill. This is something that I always say, if you're looking to have some fun, maybe like a date night but not going out, because why go to a Korean barbecue spot and pay all that money when you can do this at home? If you are looking for something different, you know, something fun for the family, for a couple's night, um, if you're strapped on a budget, you know, any of those works. This thing is, it's pretty bad A double S. I will say that. <laughs> it has eight different, well, I'll explain it to you, but it has, uh, what is that on my, uh, that's gray hair. <laughs> I'm like, what is this on my lip? It is a gray hair. That's crazy. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and cue this up while I uh, pull this gray hair out of my face. What's up everybody, Hollywood Will back with another review and today we are going to unbox and review this awesome Swiss Mar Ratchlet Grill. Uh, this is awesome, I really can't wait to get this out of the box and show you guys. All right, so now that I got everything out of the box, let's get right to it. All right, so uh, you can see here you have your burner. This is 1200 watt. All right, just so you know, uh, you have your, you know, your plug right here. You plug that in. Uh, this is your burner here. You turn it on uh, from here. So obviously you can go from low to high. All right, and like I said, it is 1200 watt. Now this is your cast iron top, which you can use to go ahead and grill uh, foods like burgers, steaks, 
chicken, anything you want to grill on this side. On the other side, you have two round circles here. This is great for eggs, pancakes, crepes if you like crepes. I'm not a crepes fan, um, but you have a choice. So you have here and here, both sides of the metal. And basically what you're gonna do, you hear that? And it clicks right into place. So here's another cool thing. You get eight of these, check these out. So these are, uh, this. you can use this and you would put them in just like that. And they fit in, they fit in just like that. You can use that to like melt your cheeses. You can uh, use things to melt. I tried to put an egg in there and it did take uh, a very long time to fry my egg underneath there. So just keep that in mind. And you also have eight of the uh, scrapers. So as you can see, if you wanted to use that to scrape to get that out of there or whatever you're cooking in there, or you can use it to flip your uh, meats here as well. This is cast iron, so you are gonna get a great cook on uh, your meats and such. This is non-stick, so it's very easy to clean. Again, it is um, 1200 watt, but let's uh, talk about the dimensions here, because this is one of the smaller ones that I've had. So if you're trying to you know, feed a whole family, it's still possible depending on what you cook, but it is 16 and a half inch uh, long this way. And then this way, the width is 9.6 inches, and then the depth is 5.6 inches. So just be careful, don't uh, cook too many greasy things on here at a time so that it, the grease builds up and possibly could overflow. But this has nice, uh, nice depth to it, so I wouldn't really worry about that. You know, just don't try cooking 10 hamburgers at a time. But either way, uh, this is something awesome. Great for college kids. How about that? How about there, you know, in a, a dorm or even in their own apartment and you need some extra cooking space or you have no cooking space living in a dorm. So this would be the way to go. But definitely uh, check it out. It is super. What's up, everybody? Hollywood Will back with another review. All right. So pretty cool, right? That was a Swiss Mar uh, classic eight person Ratslet grill. I actually took this to Ocean City, Maryland on Memorial Day weekend, used it, had a ball with it. We made burgers, uh, we made these jalapeno cheddar sausages, we made eggs for breakfast the one morning. It was just me and uh, two of my buddies, uh, Dave and Marvin. So just a guy's weekend, you know, having a good time. Need to, sorry, I've got a hand wipe here. <laughs> Always like to keep the hands uh, fresh and clean, but uh, even though they're gonna get dirty again, Anyway, this is normally, so the price the other day I saw it, it was $179. Right now it's $144.95. I don't know if this is the permanent price or not because it doesn't have like a cross out like normally Amazon does. But literally the other day it was, you know, $170 something. But uh, right now it's $144.95. Over 1,700 reviews, four and a half out of five stars. So definitely something solid. Also pretty cool if you want to you know, mix things up. I will say, I don't know if I mentioned it in the video, I tried to fry an egg in one of the little uh, containers and it took entirely too long. So I advise against that. It's better for melting cheeses. If you want to soften up some vegetables a little bit, get a little saute going, you know, you can do that. But to actually, I just threw an egg in there. I just cracked it open and threw it in there. And I mean, at best it got like the film over it but it was very, very, very raw still. It just took too long. So, and you know, as you can tell with all this round shape, I am not a patient man when it comes to my food. So anyway, just a little tip. 144.95, four and a half out of five stars, over 1,700 reviews. So, all right, we are gonna go to the next product. This is a fun one and it's Tuesday. So I thought that this was very fitting. This company is called Taco Tuesday. Let me make sure it's clicked on the right one. There you go. Taco Tuesday six wedge quesadilla maker. What makes this different? It's got the wedges already in there. So when you make the quesadilla, it's basically already ready and you can either tear it apart or just slightly have to cut it. But you don't have to you know, really dig into it and cut the tortilla because it's already wedged. Uh, this is a pretty cool uh, item here. I have tried to make a quesadilla already, but I made one that was too thick. So you got to watch out there too. Like, you know, I was trying to put triple meat in there. And it just wasn't really working. I mean, it worked, but meat was coming out on the sides. So anyway, just don't do what I did and be greedy and you'll be completely fine. But check this out. 
This is one of my favorites. This quesadilla maker and the next one. Uh, you'll see what the next one is in a little bit. What's up, everybody? Hollywood Will back with another review. And today we are going to unbox and review <coughs> this Taco Tuesday 10 inch quesadilla maker. So let's get it out of the box and let's talk about it. All right, so now that we have this out of the box, let's quickly go over this because, uh, you know, it's not rocket science or recreating the wheel. This is awesome. It makes quesadillas 10 inch. Check this out here. So you have a, uh, a lock here. Just pull that up, open that up. Stainless steel on the inside. So you know what that means? It's non-stick and it's easy to clean. Now check out these sections, right? So you have sections. So basically it makes it easier. It's gonna form into the quesadilla so you can almost just tear it apart in sections when it's done. Uh, you may still have to cut it a little bit, but it's not like you have to, you know, really cut it and shake the table and all that. But uh, this unique plate design makes it awesome uh, and super easy to make these. Like I said, it's super easy to clean. You have two positions to lock it. So it'll either lock and stay like this if it's thicker. If it's a thinner quesadilla, then you just put the latch on and it'll be able to close all the way. So you have your uh, red light, green light. So this is your power uh, light, your green light. It'll let you know when it is preheated and ready for you to start cooking your delicious quesadilla. Throw your meats in there, your cheeses, your vegetables. You can really, uh, you know, turn this into a fun Taco Tuesday or any evening uh, night. So, and also lastly, if you want to stand it up and store it, you absolutely can because this is flat down here, just like that. So if you want to store it out of the way, leave it like that. Or if you want to, you know, put it down and store it like this, you can. But either way, it's super light. It's small enough to be out of the way. It's easy to clean. What else is there? Everybody loves quesadillas and tacos, right? What's up, everybody? All right, so, you know, where's the lie, right? It was pretty cool. What's even cooler than that is it's on deal. Normally, it's $39.99. Right now, $29.99, four and a half out of five stars, over 2,200 reviews, super popular. I found this by accident. I really did. And no one sent this to me. I bought it. I found it by accident. I found this in the next product. I'm like... Well, the name of the company is Taco Tuesday. That's pretty cool. I'm going to get it. If it doesn't work, I'm going to send it back. But it works amazing. Is it amazing or amazingly? It works amazingly, right? I think that's a word. Doing okay. Weekend was good. So just over here saying hi to Evans. Evans also joined and is a what I like to call the usual suspects. It comes in and says hi. We chatted up. So if you guys aren't following me on Amazon, you definitely should. Because we are having an entirely different conversation than, you know, what uh, we have on other platforms. So we really chatted up over here. Also, if you're wondering why you don't see the product carousel, it's because it's only available on Amazon. I'm trying to work through that now. I have something. I don't want to announce it yet. But I found something. Uh, someone put me onto it. And I'm going to try it out. It's a different streaming platform. I'm going to try it out, and it's supposedly going to be able to bring the carousel down so other social media platforms can see it. Amazon customer started following. Thank you very much, Amazon customer. I really appreciate that. If it wasn't for you guys, I obviously wouldn't be live streaming. Amazon would have no reason to keep me around. So I definitely appreciate you guys coming in. It doesn't really matter to me if you buy something or not. We're just having a good time, and I'm keeping you guys informed on what's available. What you guys choose to do after that, it is up to you. I just pre appreciate you guys coming through and saying what's up. So, uh, Krisha started following. Thank you for the follow, Krisha. I, Krisha, am I saying that right? Also, if I ever butcher anyone's name, please call me out and correct me because, you know, I don't, you know, don't really mean to, you know, like uh, butcher anyone's name at all. So, thank you guys for the follow. I appreciate that. Uh, before we go to the next product, I want to remind you guys, if you are just tuning in, there are still a few days left for uh, to enter the Amazon $250 gift card giveaway. You never have to buy anything in order to enter. Just go to my Facebook Amazon group, Mega Deal Catcher, and it is pinned to the top. All you have to do is name, email address, and follow me on Amazon. So you have to do those first three things, and then you'll be... 
uh, you know, entered. Now there are, are other additional entries that you can have that you can, you know, secure. Follow me on TikTok, follow me on Instagram, all those things, but never ever will you see me say, oh, buy this for X amount of entries. I've seen, you know, some people that do that, not necessarily live streamers, just in general that use the platform for their business. And I'm just not a believer in getting people to buy, you know what I mean, for entry. So that's just me. But anyway, you still have a couple of days left before I give away $250 Amazon gift card. That sounds amazing, right? That's right. Go Amazon gift card. <laughs> All right. With that being said, let's go to the next product. I'm done being corny for I'm done being corny for right now. I'll probably be corny again a little bit later. This is again Taco Tuesday. This is the baked shell uh, maker. So check this out. I'm sure you guys have either had or have seen Taco Bell and their taco salad. They have this big, you know, tortilla shell that's like kind of fried or baked. I used to work at Taco Bell, so these those are fried. You would have like the like a like a stick thing, and it's like formed, and then you push the tortilla in the grease, and it forms, and then you pull it out when it's done. Now that was when I was 14 years old. If they still make them that way, I don't know. But anyway, this is way more healthier than frying it. This is just baking it in the mold here, and I'm going to show you guys the video here in just a second. Pretty amazing. I've made one so far. I'm not a huge fan of like taco salads like that, so. You know, but it came out great. It came out golden brown. You know, it served its purpose for sure. So uh, let me cue this up. Let me know what you guys think. What's up, everybody? Hollywood Will back with another review. And today we are going to unbox and review this Taco Tuesday taco salad shell maker. So let's get this out of the box. We're going to get it set up and let's talk about it. All right, so now that we have uh, this out of the box, this is uh, super simple, cut and dry. Check this out. So this is, I like the color here. You got your little logo there, you know, Taco Tuesday logo. Inside is just like, uh, you know, those omelet makers that you have or like the grills that you have, like a Foreman grill. Same material, same, uh, you know, uh, iron here, and it is non-stick. So that means it's easy to clean when you're finished with it. You can put uh, up to an eight inch tortilla in here, boom, clamp it down, and you have your lighting here. So um, when it's, you know, when it's green, you know, boom, time to pull that bad boy up. And then you would have a perfectly made shell for taco. Uh, if you wanna do like a taco salad, if you wanna get fancy, what you can do something different is create a dessert out of this as well. So it does give you on the box some instructions on how to make a nice cinnamon dessert. So if you want to go that route, you can as well. What's up, everybody? Hollywood Will back with another review. And today we are going to... So nice, short video, to the point. Uh, let's talk deal. Normal price is $29.99. You're getting 18% off right now. Drops the price to $24.47. Uh, four out of five stars, 3,484 reviews. So... A lot of people reviewed, a lot of people like it. Like I've said earlier, check out some of the negative reviews, see what they say, because it may not even be the, uh, you know, the product owner, the seller's fault. So things happen, right? But uh, anyway, if you guys do like the whole taco shell thing, so, you know, you can throw a whole bunch of stuff, and I just had a great idea. What if I did that, and instead of doing the Tex-Mex with, like, the ground beef, Let's say I do like um, like a brisket or a pork, you know what I mean? And then put something in there, like brisket over like some um, Spanish rice. I can throw some guacamole in there and I can do all that stuff. But like I want to try different meats. Oh my gosh, I am so hungry right now. <laughs> I literally just made myself hungry. I apologize, guys. All right. So what are we doing here? Because all I can think about is brisket. Next product is my go-to. This is literally my go-to uh, for proof. One of these times, I'm going to take a picture of it at my house. It is at my house. 
It is, I try to keep it as clean as possible on the outside. It's spotless on the inside. I clean it after every use. This is the Kasori Air Fryer Toaster Combo. This is what I use to make my wings probably three times a week. I eat wings at least three times a week. And again, I do 380, 22 to 25 minutes. The sweet spot is probably 23, 24 minutes. And then I use the shake feature, just a one button push. And what that does is that lets you know when they're halfway done. So I can pull that bad boy down, uh, take open up the rack, pull the rack out and flip the wings. So then I let it cook the rest of the time while it's flipped on the other side and then toss it in my super hot hot sauce. It's a secret though, I'm not gonna tell you the recipe. So, Evans, you're hungry too? I know, right? But that brisket sounds like a great idea. <laughs> so even if I do a chicken in the air fryer or something and shred it up and then throw that in there, like can you imagine like smoked chicken, a smoked chicken taco salad? Oh my goodness. Anyway, we're, we're on another product here. This is the Kasori air fryer. And I'm going to show you guys this video. It's just an unboxing. Uh, let me know what you guys think. This is also on deal. Let me know, guys. So let's go ahead and quickly review the Corsair Air Fryer Toaster Oven. Uh, this is awesome for quite a few reasons. Number one, I use this for absolutely everything. I don't even really need an oven when I have this. So you have your air fryer, air fryer basket. You can bake, you have your baking tray to bake pizzas, wings, whatever you want. Uh, here at the bottom, you can roast. So there are so many things that you can do uh, with this. And the great thing about it, it's marked on here for the levels on where you need the tray and what it's for. So the top tray would be for air fry, toast, broil, dehydrate, middle tray, bake, defrost, pizza, and then the bottom tray, roast, slow roast, ferment. So there's so many things you can do with this. Uh, you would change your temperatures here, you install the app, and you can run it from your phone. So you never have to worry about turning your food midway through the cook or overcooking anything. So uh, super well priced. Like I said, you can re literally replace your oven with this. Definitely something you should check out. You heard it from Hollywood. All right, so uh, just a quick video. That was the Kasori Air Fryer. And like I said, I use this like there's no tomorrow. I really do use it almost every day. I have uh, a company that I use and it's called Keto AF. I'm sure you know what AF means, that acronym, but uh, they're pretty solid and they make some of the best raisin keto bread. So I toast, I don't even like raisins, but I toast it. I throw some uh, keto jelly on it or sometimes I just do butter and it's amazing. You can, I'm not sure if I mentioned it in the video, but there is an app for Kasori that you can use. So that way you can see when it's turned on, you can run it from your phone. That's key right there. Cause I'm super lazy. I'm like one of the, the hardest working lazy people there are out there because I will get up. I will work. I wasn't always a live streamer. I've done grunt work. I've done it work. I've done everything and I will work for money. But when I am home, and the remote control is six, seven feet away, I will literally text one of my daughters to come downstairs and act like I wanted to talk to him about something. And then I would say, while you're down here, hand me that remote. I am dead serious, I do that. <laughs> or while you're down here, can you go fill this up with water or something? I don't know, that's just how I roll, I'm lazy, I get it. But anyway, having that app is clutch and that way I can still be lazy and enjoy at the same time, so. Hey, Missy, good evening. Thank you for the follow. I definitely appreciate that. Bon Bon, what's going on? Texas weather. So you know all about brisket and such down there, Bon Bon. I envy you for that. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. I do get my kids to do that, and they get so mad. But then they get over it. Why? Because they're like, um, especially on the weekends, they're like, hey, Dad, uh, can we have this? to eat can you get this or can you cash at mom so she can get us this you know something like that so <laughs> it goes both ways you know give and take right <laughs> all right so uh did i talk deal yet i did not normally the price is 149.99 you get a nice little piece of change to keep in your pocket 15 percent off drops the price to 127.49 you guys that are familiar with air fryers 
you know, bigger air fryers like this, uh, you know that it is a good deal money wise, right? Because yes, you can get an air fryer, like the small pull, uh, you know, like to pull out the tray for, you know, 49, 59, 69, 79 dollars. But if you want the bigger ones that have the different features that are the combos, you're going to pay a little bit more for that. So this price is definitely lower across the board. And for those of you guys that have watched me long enough, you know, I say what I want to say. I'm always 100 percent forward and straight, you know, with you guys, which is probably why I've had my stream shut down twice. <laughs> But, you know, it happens. I try to give you guys, you know, the best information out there. Arm you with the information so you can do what you will and choose wisely, right? All right. Let's go to the next product. Again, one of my favorites. Now, this one here, I gave away. Gave away to my good friend Jason, who actually sits right behind me back there. As you can see, like, the monitor right there, this side. That's his desk way back there. So he's got like the nice exposed brick wall. Mine is just like a desk over here, but I got a window view. So uh, I gave it to him and he loves it. The reason why this air fryer is so cool is because it's French door. So instead of having it open this way, you pull one door, the other one opens and it just stays there. So it's pretty awesome. And you know, that's like the main feature. Uh, this is really bothering me. This is like a gray hair. And I, I pulled it out, right? I don't know. I got gray hair too right here. Oh my goodness, I'm so old. All right, let's see here. Missy, my husband just purchased this. Oster, it came in handy for Thanksgiving. Nice, right? It came in handy for Thanksgiving. And it, depending on, I don't know what your kitchen looks like, Missy, but it does make some kitchens look a little bit better too, right? Because it's got that commercial kitchen feel, but nice. Because usually commercial kitchens are... I don't want to say dirty, but they're used, you know, during dinner service. It kind of looks greasy and dirty, right? By the end of the service, then you got to clean it all. But this right here fits perfectly on the countertop. Um, doesn't take up too much space. But anyway, I'll show you guys. Let me know what you guys think. What's up, everybody? Hollywood Will back with another review. Today we are going to review this Oster Digital French Convection Oven. So this is a full unboxing. Let's get this out of the box and let's talk about it. All right, now that we have everything out of the box, uh, it's pretty simple. One thing I do notice though is it's not as big as I thought it was. So that's perfect. The box was huge, as you guys saw. This is the size of about um, a 1200 watt microwave. So nice size there. Uh, I love the doors. Check this out. You pull one and they both open. Pull them all the way. Stays open. So that's pretty cool. Then when you're ready to close it, they both close. So you have here for convenience a breadcrumb tray or just a crumb tray. So that's pretty awesome. Now we're going to put the racks in as it comes with two racks as well. And like to get it there we go so now check this out as you can see this right here and again on this side uh, this is convenient so if you want to bake an entire pizza so let's get that in if I can get them right there you go so it's pretty much in and then from there as you can see uh, you have the buttons over here now check this out this reminds you of a microwave right so it's nice and simple so I know the time's wrong, but let's say if we want to bake something, bake, and then you can put the timer on, the temperature, and then click start, and then it goes to preheat. So then once it's ready and all heated up, it is ready to cook. And I love how the oven light is on, so that's pretty cool as well. I'm going to go ahead and cancel it. So check this out. Push it once, and it pauses to let you know if you're really sure if you want to cancel it. Push it again, it cancels, all good. This is super well priced. It is amazing looking and I am super excited to make my first pizza in here. But like I said, it's well priced. Definitely something you should check out. You heard it from Hollywood. What's up? All right, so that was the Oster. Some people call it Oster. I call it Oster. That was the Oster. Uh, this is the French door, like I said. Let's talk deal here. Give me one second because 
All right. So the Oster right now. So normally it's two ninety nine. Right now it's two twenty. But here's the thing. It literally, if you go to the Amazon page, if you click on the link, it'll take you there. It says only five left in stock. Let me tell you what that means because it's going to mean one of two things. Number one, it means that they're going to be completely out and they'll restock when they can because of the holidays. Number two, and it sometimes number two happens, it could be that they are discontinuing this. But the thing is, it is super popular. Like the reviews, look at the reviews here. 5,786, four and a half out of five stars. So I don't want to speculate, but I think that they're, because of the holiday season, they're just, you know, a little behind and they're going to, you know, restock. Because this is such a super, super popular item. I just don't see it like, oh, it's super popular. Everybody loves it. Let's go ahead and take it away from them. I just don't see that happening. But I just wanted to give you guys a heads up that there is only five left in stock. This is not fear of missing out. When you click on it, they'll it, you'll see it for yourself. Cool deal. Just wanted to let you guys know. But anyway, four and a half out of five stars got me. And it's pretty awesome. Like I said, it's normally two ninety nine. dollars Susan, 1967, started following. Thank you, Susan. I definitely appreciate that follow. I appreciate all you guys' follows. Uh, Scrappy just joined us on Facebook. Thank you for watching over there as well. Uh, I definitely appreciate you guys. So, all right. With that said, we are going to, well, right before I go to the next product, for those of you guys that are new following me, thank you. If you're new to the whole, uh, Amazon live platform, welcome. And let me explain something to you. If you guys are watching from Amazon, you'll see the product queue. If you click on one of those products from a smartphone, you're going to deviate away from the stream. Just click back and we'll still be here. You know, I try to wait a couple of minutes before I go to the next product. Unless there's time constraints, then I, you know, try to get all the details in without skipping anything. Uh, unfortunately, that means I have to usually skip between products and just go right to the next product. If you guys are watching from a laptop or a desktop, a new tab will open but you'll still be able to hear my loud mouth. You'll be able to hear Hollywood Will running his mouth while you're you know, looking further into the product. So, cool deal? All right, this next product is same company, Oster or Oster, and this is a toaster oven slash convection oven. So, you're not really, I mean, there are features that you can do here. Does it work as well as your traditional air fryer? Absolutely not. Does it work really well for what it does? Absolutely. This is also one deal, and it's super popular with almost 11,000 reviews, four and a half out of five stars. So with that said, let me pull this up for you guys. Let me know what you guys think. What's up, everybody? Hollywood Will back with another review. Today, we are going to unbox and review this Oster Digital Countertop Oven. Uh, this is a turbo convection heat technology oven. So we are going to get this out of the box, and let's talk about it. All right, so now that we have everything out of the box, um, it's pretty simple, pretty cut and dry. You have your manual, which you most likely won't need. Um, you have your crumb tray that is already installed, so that's pretty awesome. Let's open this up here. So now you have your regular rack, which by the way, this rack, you can cook an entire 12 inch uh, personal pizza on here and still have uh, some room. So. Then you have your bread tray if you want to you know, bake some bread. You also have a rack for that. You can cook right on that. So plenty of space here to make a lot of things here. Let's play with these buttons a little bit. Uh, let's see. So you have your toast function. You have your bake function. Easy to push buttons. You have your broil, which starts at 450. You can warm. You can defrost. You have your pizza. Your time as to how long you want to cook whatever it is you're cooking and then your temperature uh, you have your light so you can always see what's going on in there so that's pretty cool and then stop that so you have your clock obviously and then your start so you kind of have the same buttons as you would like a microwave kind of right uh, with the exception of like broil and bake and all of that so but the buttons are you know they seem easy to push uh, you see that there and then when you don't want that you can cancel it start it whatever 
Uh, I recommend this. We're going to cook something with this, so maybe a pizza or something. But um, I definitely like this, and it's well-priced, so check it out. You heard it from Hollywood. All right, so that was the Oster Toaster Oven uh, slash Convection Combo. Uh, let's see. Missy S. says the... Oster oven, my husband, my hubby purchase is also an air fryer. So, yeah, Oster is pretty solid. Uh, like I said, I was using that one, and I gifted that to my buddy Jason. I actually sold the this convection oven here because I had no room for it. So, like I said, but that was before I had the storage space. Now that I have a storage space, <clears throat> I kind of hold on to stuff because I want to, you know, like test it out six months later. Because it could be on deal three months later, six months later. Let's see if it's still working properly. You know what I mean? So, but yeah, Missy, uh, really cool there. I'm glad you guys like it. Uh, this one here, <clears throat> excuse me, normally is $159.99, but you're getting a quarter of the price off. So 25%, that's a nice little savings there. Drops the price to $119.99, 10,924 reviews, four and a half out of five stars. So super, super popular, well liked. I liked it, but like I said, for what I needed it for, <clears throat> excuse me, this wasn't the one for me. Now, when I did use it to make sure it worked and, you know, I made like some pizza in there and tested it out, it worked great. You know, but like I said, I need the traditional air fryer for myself, for my needs. But uh, yeah, this is a great product, so. All right, we are going to hop on over to the next product, which is the Zojirushi this is the DCC-10 model. This is the electric griddle. Uh, do I have a cooking video on this one? I believe I do. I think I made some uh, some kielbasa on there. <laughs> so I love my sausages. I love my hot dogs, my hamburgers. I'm a keto guy, so most of the meats, I, you know, I'll, I'll eat them. Most of them, not all of them. Like Rocky Mountain oysters, I'm not eating that mess. I'm not eating eel. I'm not eating octopus. There's a certain stuff I'm not eating. I don't really, you know, fool with shark like that. It's just a little too gamey for me. But then I had a lion burger one time, which was amazing. So anyway, uh, let's see. This is the electric griddle. I'm going to go ahead and pull this up for you. It is on deal, so go ahead and check it out. Let me know what you guys think. So let's go ahead and check out this electric griddle. Uh, this is super easy, super convenient if you're looking to make a bunch of food, you know, like brunch style, where you can easily make pancakes, your sausages, your French toast, even steaks, potatoes, uh, you know, so much you can do with this, and it's super easy. So check this out. This is the burner right here, right? So what we're going to do is we're just going to snap that into place just like that. You would plug it in, and then you have... Here, if you want to use this as a cover, you can, or you can use this uh, as a serving tray. So if you want to cook the food and then put the food in the serving tray, you absolutely can. Uh, it is super awesome. We're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to throw some sausage on here. We're going to cook it up and see how it turns out. So I just got a couple of pieces of sausage on here. I like the color on here. I like to, you know, like char it up a little bit. Uh, like I said, this works perfectly for your breakfast, lunch, or dinners. You can do sausage like me, pancakes, eggs, uh, steaks, anything you really want, and it turns out great. Just look at the color that I'm getting on these. So this is definitely something I would check out. I use mine every day. I think you guys will like it as well. Super well-priced. You heard it from Hollywood. All right, so... After using this, it is super easy to clean. If there's not a lot of grease in here, then you can pretty much just uh, basically wipe it down. So what I did was I put just like a, like a little dot of soap, you know, with a moist uh, sponge here. You can use a rag if you want. Just stay away from the, the Brillo side of things. You don't want to scratch anything up. Look how easy that is. And then what I can do is I can just take, you know, like a, like a paper towel or something like that and kind of just like wipe it down just like that. And it is clean. 
ready to use again. Now, I suggest that you wait until this cools down, obviously, which is what I did, uh, and you're good to go. Same thing with your spatula. You know, your spatula is dishwasher safe if you want to go ahead and throw that in there. Uh, you absolutely can. So, um, this is great, easy to clean, great for the family to cook, you know, full meals, brunch meals. Uh, definitely check it out. Well priced. You heard it from Hollywood. All right, so that was the Zojirushi Electric uh, Griddle. So, normally the price is $207.24. Get a nice little discount here. Not a big discount, but some. Drops the price to $195.98. There are also other buying options, which means uh, there are more than one of the same models sold by different sellers. Make sure you are going to the Zojirushi seller and not like a third party off brand or off seller. You know what I mean? So anyway, uh, I hate when they do that, like when they offer different buying options. But anyway, nice reviews here. 1,496, four and a half out of five stars. If you are in the market for an electric griddle, go ahead and scoop that up. Give it a try. I think you'll like it. So uh, let's see here. We have a few more products to go through. So let's keep the train moving. The next product is the Queasy Max Cast Iron Double Burner. This is something that's perfect for, I'll give you guys some examples. I think I say the same examples in the video. I'm not really 100% sure. <laughs> I kind of forget. Hey, Julie, uh, glad you found me. I appreciate Julie is one of my oldest friends. I don't mean oldest by age, just oldest. We used to go roller skating together. That's how long ago. It was a cool thing to do back in the mean streets of New Jersey. So welcome, Julie. Thank you uh, for the follow. I definitely appreciate that. So um, let's see. This Quizzy Max here. I'm going to give you guys an example. My daughter goes to college next year. She's going to Penn State main campus. Here's where it gets tricky. Let's say they want to make some of their own food because especially my daughters, both my daughters are very fickle when it comes to food. They don't really like to try stuff like new stuff. They just stick to their same game plan. My daughter, the one that's going to Penn State, likes pasta. Um, just certain types of pasta though. Same with my younger daughter. She likes frozen lasagna and refuses to eat fresh lasagna, fresh stuffed shells, none of that. She just wants the frozen section. It's crazy to me. But anyway, uh, getting back to the double burner. In the dorm rooms, obviously, it's not an efficiency. It's a small dorm with a small, uncomfortable bed with barely any space because you have a roommate. So this is something that would work great if you're allowed to have it in college dorms. It's been a long time since I've been in college, so I really can't speak on today's day and age. But this would be perfect, even if you wanted to just heat up water. It, you know, If you wanted to um, make something in a pan, it's just easier, especially if you're not crazy about the dining hall f uh, food. Or if you own an RV. I have a buddy who's also here at the co-work space. He just took off a couple of months ago from Montana and won't be back until next summer. They, uh, I'm not sure if they have a stove already in there, but if they don't, this is something that they can use. There's, you know, the bigger RVs obviously have a full kitchen. Some of the smaller RVs or trailers do not. Or if you needed the extra space, the extra burners for Thanksgiving, something like that. But anyway, uh, let me go ahead and queue up this video because I believe I make some of the same comparisons in the video. I just don't remember. Let me know what you guys think. What's up, everybody? Hollywood Will back with another review. And today we are going to talk about this Queasy Max double hot plate. Uh, so double hot plate, obviously, for obvious reasons. You have two burners, one which is six and a half inch one which is seven and a half inch, but they both distribute the same amount of heat. They're both uh, 900 watt for a total of 1800 watt. All right, so this is perfect for, uh, let's say if you have a camper, if you are actually camping out in the woods, and as long as you have a power source and you can plug this right in and uh, you can cook with this. A lot of times this is better than taking out an entire camping grill and setting that up. This is much easier because it's portable. You can kind of just, you know, take it uh, wherever you want to go. So there are two burners on this side, or two knobs, I should say, on this side to turn on, which we will do in a second. Then you have your emergency on and off uh, to 
you know, turn it on and off if for whatever reason you can't get to the two knobs or the knobs aren't working correctly or whatever. So uh, obviously it comes with a manual. Uh, the manual, pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. There's no setup instructions. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at this and plug it in. All right, so let's turn it this way. And as you can see, you have the two knobs here and they range uh, from, once you turn it on, it ranges from one to max. One being if you need to keep something warm and max if you wanna bring it to a boil. So now I did use this to boil uh, some water and to boil some, uh, you know, just some other things. And what I found out, it does take about uh, between 12 to 15 minutes for a good boil and it doesn't matter what burner you use. So let's make sure the emergency one is on and now we are going to turn that on. You can tell it's on because you can see the light, right? And then turn this one on again because you can see the light. So again, this is perfect for, um, you know, like I said, camping or if you are even taking it to work, you know, it's definitely something that's not gonna smoke up on you or anything, so perfect for that. Also, let's say you need, it's Thanksgiving time, right? Let's say you need a couple of extra burners on hand because the four burners that you have in the kitchen just aren't enough. And here you can uh, have an extra two without having and taking up a whole lot of space. So this is definitely something uh, I recommend. I use mine. I think you guys will like it as well. And like I said, if you need the emergency shut off, you can do that and you see the lights went out. So definitely check this out. Uh, we are gonna make another video actually cooking something. So stay tuned for that. You heard it from Hollywood. All right, that was the Queasy Max. Uh, that was the double burner. You saw like the size with it sitting in front of me, like that size is perfect, right? Even those of you with the small kitchens or smaller kitchens like I have, uh, I think that it would, you know, fit perfectly in there, especially if you need those, you know, extra burners. So uh, if you're a camper or is that considered glamping if you bring like a stove with a generator? I don't know. I'm not really a camping type person, so I wouldn't know. But for those of you that are campers out there, I'm really interested to know if you bring something like this, is that considered camping or glamping? Ah, let's talk deal. Normal price, $82.99, 16% off, so nice little discount there. Drops the price to $69.98. Here's the uh, kicker, over 7,000 reviews, so super, super popular, four and a half out of five stars. So uh, definitely give it a try. I think you'll like it if you are in the need for that. Me personally, I really don't need it, but I used it because someone sent it to me. So I used it enough times. Now it's sitting in storage. I'll use it again just to make sure it's still working, you know, down the road, especially if it's going to be on deal at, you know, a future point. So thank God for storage units, right? It's a heated storage unit too. So I don't have to worry about going outside and you know, with the whole hustle and bustle with that. Because <laughs> as you guys know, I'm lazy. All right, uh, let's go to the next product. This is another uh, oldie but goodie. This is my omelet maker. It is normally $29.99, 24% off. Drops the price at $22.90. 14,706 reviews, four and a half out of five stars. The reason why I led with that is because now I can segue right into how much I love eggs. I know they don't really, that's not really a good segue, but anyway, I love omelets. It's part of my, eggs are part of my keto regimen. I don't eat eggs because it's great for keto. I've been loving eggs since I was like five. Scrambled eggs with cheddar cheese and ham and dumping my favorite hottest of the hot sauce on there. Mwah. It's amazing to me. But anyway, uh, this is something that it is super convenient because now you don't have to worry about breaking omelets. Have you ever made an omelet that looked like a foot? Because that's how all my omelets look. You know what I mean? It's terrible looking. But now I'm getting nice little frittata shaped omelets. I don't like frittatas, but I figured that was a good comparison. But anyway, let me show you guys this quickly because it's already after my time. So I want to get this last product into you guys. What's up everybody, Hollywood Will back with another review and today we are going to unbox and review this two section omelet maker. 
Now this is also a frittata maker if you're into that, but either way, let's unbox it and we're gonna talk about it. All right, so now that we have everything out of the box, uh, let's take a closer look. So this is stainless steel, it is non-stick. Check this out when we open up the lid. You see how there's two sections here? One thing that I wanna let you know, um, two eggs on each side fits perfectly. Anything more than that, it starts to fill to the top and kinda you know, run off to the side here and you know, you don't really want that if you're trying to cook you know, a very even uh, omelet. So just keep that in mind. The dimensions are, um, let's see here. So the dimensions are four and a half by 10 inches by 8.1 inches. So decent size. You don't have to uh, use a lot of space up in your kitchen. So this is uh, super convenient. It's easy to clean. What I like to do is not when it's piping hot, but right when it starts to cool down, that's when I will take, you know, a damp cloth with a little bit of soap and, you know, wash the bottom and then wash the top, run it over again. Uh, you know, and dry it off and just let it sit. So if you are, oh, and I also want to mention that there are multiple colors for this. So if you don't like the black, you can go with the red, there's a blue, there's a yellow, uh, and there's a white. So this is super well priced, super convenient, and I highly recommend it. Check it out. You heard it from Hollywood. What's up, everybody? Hollywood Will back with another review. All right, so that was just a nice little quick review. I'm going to make another review uh, so I can show you guys because I made them and I didn't think about making the video for that. And I just used it, made the eggs, and was done with it. So anyway, um, that's my time. It is well after 7 o'clock. And I know we have some other streamers that are coming on. And, uh, you know, it's a small community here. So if you guys are watching from Amazon, go ahead and support your other live streamers as well. You know. We love, you know, live streaming for you guys. So hopefully uh, you guys, you know, especially me, hopefully you guys tolerate my long winded stream. So anyway, I will be back uh, Thursday night. So because tomorrow night I had to switch things around. I have some stuff that just came in. We're going to do some reviews Thursday. I will be back with some camping stuff and some stadium stuff and tailgate stuff and just some fun stuff in general. So until then, I will see you guys. Have a good night. And remember, you heard it from Hollywood.